Hi there, welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide. And in this video, we'll be looking at a brand new product from Roborock, the Dyad. Roborock unveiled this product in a recently concluded CES, and it's our first wet dry cordless vacuum. So in this video, we'll look at its features and how these translate to real world use, if it works or not. I've spent many days putting this product through a grueling series of tests on various types of messes to see how it performs and if it's worth considering. There's a lot to unpack, so let's get into it. First, we'll go through the features to help you understand what this product brings to the table. The Roborock Dyad is a wet-dry vacuum, meaning it relies heavily on water to function. A sprayer within the nozzle mists water, keeping these rollers damp during the cleaning cycle. This is a critical feature in keeping these rollers clean as it picks up debris, wet or dry. And it's what makes this product efficient since there is no need to clean the rollers frequently. However, the wet-dry functionality is only usable on sealed floors. I wouldn't recommend this on unsealed surfaces since the rollers will be damp. There's a huge risk of the floors warping if you use it on porous surfaces because moisture will seep through. The Dia has three rollers, giving it excellent agitation despite the low airflow. These rollers are thick, which is enough to resist tangles from stray strands of long hair, but it lacks an active anti-tangle system, so large quantities will wrap on the rollers and axles. The two back rollers go all the way to the sides, helping it pick up liquid along the edges. Roborock says this product has an agile nozzle, enabling it to navigate easily around furniture. It has a twin water tank system, so the clean and dirty water are stored in different containers. The dirty water tank looks bigger, but it can only hold up to 620 milliliters, while the clean water tank can hold up to 850 milliliters. I think Roborock used a larger capacity for the clean water tank because of the self-cleaning feature, which you'll use often. And this perhaps is my favorite feature since it's a huge time saver in terms of maintenance. This wet dry vacuum has a dedicated self-cleaning feature where it cycles through cleaning different components from the rollers to the hose going into the dirty water tank. Please note that this feature is only accessible if placed on a self-cleaning base. This device also doubles as a charging port for vertical storage since this product cannot stand on its own without it. The all plastic construction makes it sturdy and the base waterproof. You'll notice that the base is smooth with only two notches so the rollers will snugly fit. However, all the self-cleaning functionality is done within the vacuum itself. So technically, the self-cleaning base term isn't accurate, but it's the only area where users can engage this feature. It's not a huge deal, but it's only me nitpicking. This product is cordless, so you're not limited by any wires. Roborock has a claimed runtime of 35 minutes, but it exceeded that figure in my tests and lasted around 40 minutes. But realize you'll need to empty and refill the dirty and clean water tanks four or five times during this period. These handle controls provide consumers easy access to turn this product on or off or access the self-cleaning feature. It has an interactive screen right here that shows real-time data like the battery status. Another helpful feature for consumers is the voice prompt. It's loud and concise. Empty now. It alerts users first off, like if the clean water tank is empty or if the dirty water tank is full. Dirty water tank full. Even with the self-cleaning cycle, the voice shares the status, and despite the noise from the motor, the voice is clear and concise. Next, we'll look at the things I like, and the first one for me is its efficient cleaning performance. One of my biggest pet peeves using the traditional mop is it only pushes liquid around. Yes, microfiber pads will absorb liquid, but there's a limit, and anything in excess it pushes and spreads, making it highly inefficient. Products like this Scotch Bright have their limits, and if you look underneath, it gets filthy pretty quick. This is where the wet-dry functionality of the Roborock Dyad shines. It picks up any large quantities of liquid efficiently. Even chunky stuff like ketchup, it inhales without issue. I tried it on this trio of ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and fish oil, and it picked them up easily. The more impressive aspect for me was how clean the rollers were after these tests. The Dyad's self-cleaning feature does an excellent job at flashing contaminants on the roller and the hose. You could see the ketchup residue on this area near the hose, and after engaging the self-cleaning cycle, it did a good enough job at flashing most of it out. This means you don't need to clean this part manually, and the reason why I call it a time saver. It also does the same for the rollers, dislodging and flushing out excess contaminants on the dirty water tank, which brings me to my next point. The dirty water tank is easy to clean thanks to the wide opening and this cleaning brush Roborock included in the box. They kept it simple and didn't use any fancy design or have any impossible to reach crevices. The top piece is also easy to clean thanks to the wide gaps. 
If you have a sprayer, cleaning these components will take less than a minute. I mentioned earlier about a two back rollers edge to edge cleaning ability and this feature works. I poured liquid on this area to see how well it picks up and it got everything with the first forward pass. Where this product shines is cleaning neglected areas where a lot of debris accumulates. Not only will it pick up stuff like dust or hair, but the rollers will have good enough agitation to remove most of the stains. It's this combination that separates it from a traditional vacuum cleaner and what makes it highly efficient. Normally, it takes me 15 minutes to vacuum and mop this area separately, but I only spent 5 minutes using this product. Despite its bulk and weight, steering is above average, but the heavy base gives it a heavier feel. It steers around furniture well, and the three rollers have enough torque to push the nozzle forward. However, the bulky nozzle won't fit under low clearance furniture, and you'll have to move them to clean areas underneath. The side to side steering mechanism prevents this from standing on its own. You'll need a dock for vertical storage or lean it against a wall or furniture if the dock isn't close by. Another option is pulling down this lever and letting it stand at a 45 degree angle. But avoid laying it flat horizontally because the dirty water tank can leak. However, these water tanks are small, which will require frequent refills and disposals when cleaning larger spaces. Fortunately, emptying the water tank is easy with a top opening. Consumers will have to be careful when removing the water tank since the top cover doesn't lock in place. Make sure to hold the handle or the container will drop. It's not a big issue once you get used to it, but it's something to take note about. This product is noisy, registering 76 decibels on a sound meter in the eco setting and 80 decibels at the max setting. Fortunately, the eco setting is enough as it can pick up liquid on tile crevices in the bathroom. So I don't think the max setting is a necessity. The Roborock Diet only picks up everything in the forward pass. If you move the nozzle backward, a misty blanket will be left on the surface, potentially leaving watermarks. The best way to utilize this product is doing forward only passes, which can get awkward in tight zones. But fortunately, you can steer it vertically, alleviating this issue somewhat. It's not a big issue for me, but it's something Roborock can improve upon. Lastly, even if Roborock says you don't need to clean it by hand, some maintenance is needed outside engaging the self-cleaning feature. Hair and gunk will accumulate on the nozzle's inner walls and axles, so make sure to check these areas at least monthly and clean to prevent unnecessary friction and wear. The nozzle doesn't go completely flat due to design constraints with a bulky head that houses the motor for the three rollers, so it won't do well in tight quarters. But overall, I'm impressed with the Roborack Dyad. Its build quality is excellent and cleaning performance efficient. It's a tool that every homeowner will benefit from if they value wet-dry hard floor cleaning. Sure, there are quirks, but its wet and dry debris pickup is excellent and not waste the cons I mentioned. It's great for cleaning any sealed surfaces like tile from spills or neglected areas inside your home that gather dust, hair, and insect remnants. If you made it this far, I'd like to say thank you and consider giving this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you. It goes a long way in growing this channel. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for future reviews like this. Links are in the description for more information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.